All right, folks, tonight I'm going to show you how to calculate percent yield in chemistry. Percent yield is taking the actual yield, dividing it by the theoretical yield, then multiplying by 100. That way you get a percent, meaning out of 100. Now, let me uh, tell you what an actual yield is. Basically, an actual yield is where you go into a laboratory, you perform an experiment, you get a solid, a precipitant, or you get the product that you're looking for, and that's the amount of the substance that you get and produce in a laboratory setting. Theoretical yield is what you get on paper. For example, when you're going from grams to grams or grams to mole or mole to grams, all those calculations are theoretical yields. Okay. So basically, any time that you perform a calculation by hand on paper, you're getting theoretical yields. Now, uh, let's look back at a problem that we did uh, from the other day. Uh, this was a um, limiting reactant problem, and usually that's when you see percent yield problems and questions. Uh, basically here, uh, we get a max yield of 672 grams of sulfur uh, hexafluoride and we ended up getting 833 grams of sulfur hexafluoride and that's too much on that one that's why we chose this so basically uh, when you get ready to do your uh, calculation for percent yield this number which was the you know your uh, maximum yield this is your theoretical yield so in this sense, uh, your theoretical yield, okay, I'll write it down here so we, you'll have it. Your theoretical yield is 672 grams of sulfur hexafluoride. Well, let's say that you were in a laboratory, and in the laboratory, uh, you did the experiment, and the reaction happened, you got your product, and all of a sudden... Uh, in the lab after everything was said and done you only yielded after you weighed the product you only yielded 627.8 grams of sulfur hexafluoride all that you have to do is plug these numbers into this equation and you're done basically what you would have done is uh, to calculate percent yield you would have taken the 627.8 grams of sulfur hexafluoride and divided it by the 672 grams of sulfur hexafluoride and multiplied by 100. And you would just punch that into your handy dandy cheetah later. Uh, that would give you, let's see, 627.8 times 100. That'd give you 62,780. Then you would divide that by uh, 672. Now you end up getting this number, 93.42261905. Okay. Now if you look back at sig fig rules, there's four here, three here. The smallest amount is three. So you would keep the 93.4. That number can't round. So your percent yield would be 93.4%. And that is how you calculate percent yield. Now remember, the actual yield is something that I just made up here uh, for our problem. There wasn't one uh, per se, but I just want to show you that the actual yield is what you get in the lab. Okay, and the theoretical is what you get on paper. Okay, that's the big, 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 you know, dead giveaway of their meanings. Anyway, well guys, I hope this helps.